Vastly improving weather. Yes, uh, taking you all the way to the top of almost <laughs> Mount Hood. This is at Mount Hood Meadows at the top of the Cascade Chair. 54 degrees, nice view right here. So how about that snow? There's a little bit left up there, but now our focus is going to summer. Summer officially starts for us this Saturday. Over to Stoller Winery. This is a, also a very nice view. Partly cloudy skies, a high of 70 right now. That's sure looking good. We're going to get even warmer tomorrow. So the area of low pressure that brought us the wild weather yesterday, we had those downpours, we had hail, and we had lightning strikes in eastern Oregon. What's left over from this is out towards Spokane. All of these thunderstorms now crossing I-90, heading from the northwest, going to the southeast. But overall picture is this area of low pressure is moving on out into Idaho and Montana, leaving them with some wet weather, us with some dry weather. Here's the big picture. Here's our ridge of high pressure taking over. Here's our jet stream. Again, driving all that wet weather out to the east. So high pressure takes over at least for a few days. Now what's behind this ridge? Of course, sometimes we typically see troughs behind the ridges. That right there. We are watching this area closely to see what's it going to do by the time we get to Saturday, first day of summer. Are we going to start off the first day of summer with rain? What about Father's Day? So this little system back here, we'll keep our eye on because it keeps changing a little bit over the last uh, 24 hours. Out in the north right now, you're getting gusts up to almost 30 miles per hour. North Bend up through Florence, about 31 gusts up to 25 Newport. Looking out towards Tillamook uh, up to about 23, looking good all the way up and down the valley. Uh, gusts not too bad right around Timberline, Santee Ann Pass about 14 and Silverton about 14. How about your yard work forecast? Is the grass getting a little bit long because of all those days of rain? Well, here's some good news for you. Get on that tractor, whatever you use to mow your lawn. <laughs> your temperatures tomorrow are looking pretty good and dry. Uh, upper 70s by the time we get to about 3 o'clock, your 5 o'clock hour, we're at 80 degrees. And then 7 o'clock, 78 and nice and clear through tomorrow evening. Wind will mostly be out of the north for you. So I was talking about, okay, what's going to happen with this weekend's forecast? Because we've seen some flip-flops happening. Watch this area of low pressure swing through. Now this is just one model depiction. This particular model depiction is showing us, hey, Saturday afternoon, chance to see some rain at the northwest corner. And we could have a few more sprinkles in the mix all the way through Sunday midday and then clearing by Sunday night. And we have other forecast models that are also showing that it's going to be nice and dry, so we'll keep you posted as it continues to change. But at this point, the overall trend is we are warm enough through Friday. Temperatures possibly reaching the mid-80s, some mid-70s over the weekend. Next Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, returning back to the mid-80s. There you go. Mm, Saturday, though. Mm. Mm. Hey, coming up uh, next on Coin